How's it going everyone? Jada Star here and welcome back to another Pokemon Aim to be a Pokemon Master episode review. We're getting towards the end now. I believe we only got three episodes after this one. In case you missed last week's episode, make sure you check it out. It's all about Pikachu getting lost. My opinion wasn't the best episode if you've already seen. But this week's episode is a lot better. I promise that. Because we have the reintroduction of Lapras. So without further ado, let's get into this week's episode review. So this week's episode opened up with Ashbrook and Misty at the beach playing with some Whalmers. They then hear a cry from out at sea and see that it is Ash's Lapras. Ash's Lapras asks them for help and they travel to an island where they see a Whalmer is trapped in a hole. We also see up above, well, everyone's trying to get this Whalmer out so that Latias is watching. And Latias actually turns up several times in this episode. I think the most that it's ever really been in apart from that first one. Ash then brings out his Kingler, Surfetched, Heracross and Bayleaf to help get this Whalmer out of this hole. Ash and Misty then have a super idea of how about we try fish it out. Let's throw our fishing rods into its mouth and try pull it out of this hole. Bear in mind they're trying to pull out a baby whale. There is no chance this will work. Oh wait, it works. And Whalmer flies out of the hole, jumps up and down, it jumps back in a deeper hole and then evolves into a Waylord. Meaning that it is stuck even more than it was before. Team Rocket then try to sneak up on what's happening to have a see, see if they can catch anything. But Pikachu spots their periscope coming out from the water from their Magic Cap submarine. And in this next scene, Pikachu was a bit brutal. I mean, it was electrocuting Team Rocket. It was basically blackmailing saying, if you don't help us, we'll just shoot you off into space like we normally do. Make you blast off. We'll electrocute you and make you hurt. So Team Rocket had no option but to help the rest of them out. Ash then brought out his Torterra and everyone had a plan. So we're going to have Torterra, Brock, Team Rocket, all kind of wrapping around Torterra's vines around Waylord and pulling it out to sea. We then have the Wasp Pipe Pokemon, so we've got Lapras, we've got some Tentacruel and Tentacruel and a Mantike in there. And they're going to be pulling on the vines to get Waylord out. We then had Misty on land with Surfetched and Kingler and her Gyarados all like pulling it from the land side. And then we had Ash and Bayleaf and Heracross in the inside of the cave with the Waylord, tickling it, basically making it feel all funny and wanting to get out of there. And what do you know? The plan actually worked because Waylord bounced out of the hole and it was free. However, all of the water started coming into this cave and Ash being inside became trapped. But luckily it didn't really take long for Lapras and Waylord to come up with a plan. Lapras froze all the water so it couldn't rise anymore. Waylord shot a weather ball in there and Lapras went in to help Ash and get him out. We then head to the end of the episode where we see all of Lapras's friends. And Lapras then says goodbye to Ash once more and goes off with its own kind. And that's basically where the episode ended. So there we go, a little bit more of an exciting episode compared to last week. And the only really point I want to point about this is Lapras. I would have liked to see a bit more of Lapras. I feel like this episode was very much Waylord and Whalmer focused than Lapras. Lapras was just there to get Ash from the beach to where Waylord is, help them out, and then take them home again. I feel like that was what Lapras mainly did. But however, it was still really good to see. It's been forever since we have seen Lapras. Last time we saw Lapras was in the Orange Island, which was season two of the anime. Bear in mind, I believe we are on season 25 or 26. So yeah, a very, very, very long time ago since we've seen Lapras. And it's just really good to see Lapras coming back. So in the race I'm going to give this episode is a 9 out of 10. Like I said, really good episode. Everyone was going really, really good. I would have just like to see a bit more of Lapras in the episode. But there we go. There are my thoughts on this week's episode. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying these episodes. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next week with the next one.